Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we live with nature. It's not always easy, but we learn and we grow and that's important to us. I'm here on the eastern side of the creek. Max and Luna are eating the olives. This is the cultivated olive. This olive was grafted on the wild olive, but the wild olive is growing well and this is quite an awkward extension of that tree. So next to it some more asabuche, the wild olive. Here they are, much smaller. but the dogs eat all of it. They eat the acorns, they eat the rye, they eat the flowers. They say uh, plants are medicine. That's why I don't eat veggies, because I'm not sick. I don't need the medicine. Anyway, we have planted about 80 of the 100 of our meth, the hackberry that we bought. And uh, it is a cover tree to get some shade to the rest and uh, we planted it quite deep this time and the idea is to get through the clay on top of the berm into the topsoil that came from the swale placed here and uh, let's see what happens to that experiment. But uh, now we need the rain before we panic again. The rain was forecasted many, many times. It came, it went. Actually, according to the weather forecast, it's raining now. But uh, I don't see anything. I am a person of little faith when it comes to weather forecasts. Let's see. There's another one here. I'm here walking towards the east. The tip of the pizza slice shape of the farm. This is where the culvert comes under the road on the end there and then it runs all the way towards the creek. Here the angle of the soil is quite steep where the excavator is now it pans out a bit so I thought let me be creative and I made this spillways around some earthen constructions to pacify the water and reroot it and spread it but it's difficult 
because that is low and this is high. Um, might have been better to make it on the other side. But uh, let's see. I have no hope that the water will actually flow here. It will go over there. But it's also good. The next one will catch the sediment. This one I made as deep as I could. I'm now into the gray clay. I didn't know I had gray clay. So they say are different kinds of clay, the gray and then the orange. But unless I have it tested, I will not really know. Difficult to work here on this angle. I have the blade of the excavator in here and it gives way. Instead of the earth coming towards the excavator, the excavator goes towards the earth. It's not a nice feeling, but that is how it is. The cookie crumbles in that way and we'll have to eat the crumbs. This one didn't work too badly, although I also made a way for the water to go through there. This one I changed the design, keep it as close to the river or the erosion gully as possible. We will see. This um, track of the excavator came off again. If it's on a stone the size of my fist, something happens and it just comes off when it rolls over it. And when I turn, the magic combination. Uh, one day when I am grown up, I will understand these things better. Still some water. Great. Quite a lot of green over there. Taller grass, so seepage must be working. Doing its magic. The water reaching that area. And then I decided to experiment with something else. We have these gabions in here. So every time there is just a little bit of water, it goes to this lower swell system, the lowest. We also have the higher swell system. And uh, I've placed this plastic here, filled with some leaves. I would like the water to run here and feed the higher system for a change. This is the higher swell system. Swell over there instead of lower down there. But I would actually like to have another system going through here. And uh, the water should go behind this smaller uh, home oak between these two. This one and that one between them and then going towards the west about 10 meters higher than this existing one so when the water comes through those between those two trees up here it will swell will meet more or less here I would also like to see if I can get the creek to dam up and push the water this way as well. But I will have to do a lot of 
measuring and marking and trying to see where is the perfect spot. But this is not a job for today or tomorrow. I have many projects that should be completed and not starting a new one. Okay, sit all of you, stay. We're going to get you a nanny so that we can go away for a few days. I know you are terribly excited about the idea, but that is how life is. Be good to Maria Jose. Okay? Good, let's go. The rye is growing well, temperatures of 20 degrees. Also the broad beans. Take on radish. And then on the berm here, we planted some more hackberry. As I've said, we're waiting on the rain. Many clouds. Let's see. Papaya is taking a beating. The center is still alive. But uh, might have been the cold of a week ago. Hang in there, guys. Not long anymore. This is the guava. Good, survived it. A lot of moss, not as fluffy as it can be. And then this plant that grows with it is called the umbilical cord of Venus. That's what they call it here. I'm here to show you the newest irrigation system we have. It's called shrug irrigation. The dogs go into the water and then they go onto the berm, the dam wall, shrug themselves and they water this area. It works very well. Come on, show us again. Not there, you idiom. Shrug, Luna, shrug. Good, you. Thank you for the demonstration. Anyway, we will save a lot of money. It works very well. We can tell them where to go. Only thing is you have to plan 18 months. Take uh, two weeks to dig a pond. And then get rain. And then get dogs. And then you have your shrug irrigation system. Go for it. Beautiful evening. Till next time. Goodbye.